It's not a fight being lost because next week our members will be uh, re we'll be getting a ballot result and we intend to defend the people who work for Royal Mail. So we're going to con continue to campaign. We want to be this to be the shortest privatisation ever and we continue to fight. I think it's something the British people don't want. 70% of people uh, don't want this privatisation when they're being polled across all the political parties. But, you know, we've got a strike to organise next week and we're confident of a big yes vote so that the people who are uh, suffering privatisation are going to uh, make sure their terms and conditions are defended. We want to let the people in the city know that we haven't gone away and we're going to continue to campaign for the Great British Postal Service. It's a great shame what's happened today with this privatisation. You know, we're here in a uh, Singapore Sovereign Wealth Fund has bought shares in uh, Royal Mail, as has the Q8 uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund. So, you know, you've now got the situation where Kuwait's got more influence than uh, the British public on their postal service, and that's an outrage. In these austere times, you know, it's a quick way to make a fast buck, but it's no way to run a postal service. You know, Vince Cable is responsible, clever man, but responsible for one of the stupidest decisions ever made by a British government, that's the privatisation of Royal Mail.